Like it or not, Jaffe's right. Oh my goodness. So David Jaffe, a uh, world famous God tier uh, game designer, best known for his Twisted Metal and the best game on God's Green Planet, or one of, God of War 2, put out some comments in regards to Spider-Man 2 for the PS5. And I looked at him, and I, I have to say, I absolutely agree. Now, I know some of his comments, some of my comments, tend to, to put, you know, the fanboys, you know, it ten, tends to rub them, you know, the, the wrong way. But nonetheless, the truth must be said. Now, during his live stream, someone commented, hey, if it's more of the same, how can it be bad? Yeah, Robert George says, how can more of the same be bad? Well, it's not more of the same. That's the thing. More of the same in the case of, let's say, Spider-Man includes in that one of the things you got from Spider-Man 1 was a, a sense of excitement and newness and, oh my God, the swinging. So if you aren't seeing anything in the trailer that brings you that same sense of newness and excitement, then it's not more of the same. And I think that that's the complaint a lot of people have about it. And he goes on to say that, in fact, when it came to Spider-Man 1, there was a sense of awe and, you know, innovation to how the web swinging did, you know, the gadgets and stuff like that. So if that sense of awe and innovation is not present in the sequel, then in fact, it's not more of the same. And I would, I can't argue with that. He's 100% correct. And this is something that I had to, you know, to tussle with. Yes, you're excited because you're a Spider-Man fan, but what about people who aren't a Spider-Man fan? Are they still going to be impressed with the sequel? And you start looking at certain things and you realize, well, there's really nothing that separates this from Spider-Man 1. At its core, there's really not. When it comes to the suit, the suit is already being modded. And if I were to show you gameplay of, of Spider-Man 1 with the suit and Spider-Man 2, it would be very hard to distinguish because the combat feels the same. Aside from the obvious, right, the finishers and, you know, the, the special moves. But at the same time, even the special moves, where is the innovation? And this goes into the, the second part where he talks about that, hey, when it comes to innovation, innovation costs money. You absolutely have to create new things if you want to recapture the same freshness that the first game did. And that takes time. And that takes uh, iteration. And that takes money. So unless you want to wait a significant amount of time for a sequel where they have time to, to innovate, then this is what you're going to get. Right? If you want it within this two-year time span or whatnot, you want good and fast, this is what you get. Because when it comes to the innovation, there doesn't seem to be that much innovation in this game. What they have shown us. Once again, all we can go off of is what they show us. I'm sick and tired of people deflecting, oh, it's an old build, oh, this is this and this. Well, then, then don't show us that, okay? Because what you showed us is supposed to, to, to entertain us, right? It's supposed to make us want to get the game. It's marketing at the end of the day. Now, when you take a serious look at the symbiote powers, they're very much just a different variety of the powers we had in Spider-Man 1. It looks very uh, similar. For example, the move where he puts him up in the air. That's the first one. I know that's the second uh, power that we see. That's the same power as the gadget he had, where he had the shockwave and would put everyone up in the air. It's the same thing. The move where he punches them against the, the, the car, right? That's very much similar to the line, the, the line uh, thing that grabs him and brings him up against the wall. It's the same concept. There is not a lot of innovation with the gameplay that we've seen, which is why people, including myself, are a little, you know, hesitant in, in, in what, what uh, you know, what uh, they're going to bring to the table. In addition to the set pieces, the set pieces, I mean, the set piece they showed us was literally the same set piece, just from a different camera angle. Because the first time you're, you're going left and right with the lizard and then they reverse it and you're going left and right now just watching the lizard. So that innovation is not there. When it comes to the web wings, they didn't show anything crazy with the web wings. Here's the thing. We have seen gliding before. We've seen Just Cause do this before. There have been other games that have done this before. Heck, there is now even a mod that is available that you can download for Spider-Man Remastered where it gives you as far as gliding there. Not to the, ex to the extent that is shown in the game, but if we're at the point where modders 
can replicate your game within a week and it's not that big of a difference, then we have a problem. I know they had a wind tunnel, but that's what difference is that? That's the same thing as the web tunnel. It's an automated sequence. They have yet to show us anything that really screams innovation, that really screams, hey, this is Spider-Man 2. I understand that the map is bigger. I don't care. I'm just gonna come out and say it. I don't care that the map is bigger because if you want, there's tons of games that have massive maps, but there's nothing to do. There's a barren wasteland. So unless exploring that map, having characters in that map, the, the, the side missions, the side quests, unless that is entertaining, then I don't care how big the map is. When it comes to graphics, a lot of people want to scream about the graphics. That, that doesn't mean anything. I care about the mechanics. I care about the actual game. And the final note he touches upon is something that, I can, that I've been screaming from the rooftops when it came to Spider-Man 1. And that is, as a consumer, our job is to demand excellence. I'm glad to at least be getting a little more information, but I do got to push back on these people that are, I mean, I, I, think, I think these people that are, are sitting around going, um... You know, it's the sequel. What do you want? Are you're, you're fucking bootlicking, uh, 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 fucking Stockholm syndrome victims to these companies? Your job as a consumer is to demand excellence. Is to demand to be delighted and surprised and excited. That all of these people you see making videos are very much bootlickers because they want either they want to have you know an in with Insomniac so they get an early copy of the game or they get special privileges or whatnot. But that doesn't help Insomniac. You have to understand, it doesn't help them be better. When I was demanding certain things in the game, that helped them be better. Now, here's the thing. Even with my demands, some of them were implemented, some of them were not. But I think the core, the crux of this is innovation, is that, hey, this is something I want. This is something that would make the game better. This is something, the community, this is what we want to see. I was playing, I've been playing a Dark Knight, and playing that game, there's a certain quality about it. Arkham Knight, regardless of the, you know, the, the, the Batmobile and its implementation, regardless of who the Arkham Knight is, but the quality of that game as a whole is, is far beyond anything that I've seen in Spider-Man, unfortunately. And you have to take into account what's, what's actually mentioned in the video, is that he talks about when it comes to Ratchet and Clank. Ratchet and Clank's a great game, he loved it. Um, but it's very much, you know, a, a cookie cutter of the same game that they've been doing all these years. There's nothing wrong with that. But the problem that shows itself in Spider-Man is that it doesn't have the same flair, the graphical flair, as Ratchet and Clank. So once you take that flair away, flare away, and you just give us, you know, the same cookie cutter as Spider-Man One, then it's going to be extremely obvious. And as great as Ratchet was and I loved it. I loved it so much I finished it, which is rare. It was a cookie cutter template game based off a game they've been making for two decades. Spider-Man 2 doesn't have the same visual flash that Ratchet exactly. did. Exactly. And so you're left with just the gameplay, which what they showed was fine and it's very grilled cheese sandwich. People will play it and they'll enjoy it. It'll be comfort gaming and that's may all it needs to be. And I think that's what this game is suffering from as of right now. Now, of course, they can come out and show us some gameplay that completely blows us away. Where it's like, yo, whoa, where, where was this? And sometimes that happens, right? Where they show us the first gameplay and it's like, eh. And then the second trailer is like, yo, why wasn't this the first trailer? I pray that I'm wrong. Don't get me wrong. I pray that I'm wrong and it is just egg on my face. Because that's great. That's a win for me. That's a win for the consumer. But as of right now, there's not that much to separate Spider-Man 1 from Spider-Man 2. And as Jaffe says, you know, it could very much be budget constraints. It could be uh, due to, you know, a, a lack of crunch where people are like, hey, we're not going to, you know, force you to do more than you need to. Just be easy. Take it easy. You know, all this kumbaya nonsense. I'm not saying they need to take 20 years, but I'm just saying I would very much like to see um, that, that innovation uh, take a center stage. Anyways, guys, that's the video. Let me know what you guys think. Whether or not you believe, look, look, you're just a hater. Why don't you like anything, huh? You're always complaining, always complaining. Just be happy. They haven't even showed us. It's only the first build, bro. It's not even the final build. Or if you have believe, listen, listen, my kitties. Listen, kitties. <laughs> if, you, if you don't know what you're talking about, then, then just say that, okay? But if you like the same thing, you know, with a different coat of paint and maybe a couple of animations change or switch around, then, then fine, by all means. 
I want the best for Spider-Man, okay? I, I want Spider-Man game to be on the same level uh, as Arkham series. That's what I want. I want Spider-Man to be on the same level as, as Rocksteady. Uh, that's what I want, or, or as Rockstar. That's what I want. And if you don't want that, then, then just say that, okay? But upon that level of execution, it's gonna have to be some quality checks. Just is what it is. Nevertheless, if you disagree with the video, you're more than welcome to call in during disagreement days, which are typically held Friday through Sunday. There'll be a number on screen. Uh, you call in, we duke it out. Either or, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to like, share, comment, subscribe. Oh, that fun stuff. Till next time, guys, be amazing. But as of right now, there's not that much to separate Spider-Man 1 from Spider-Man 2.